Hey, good morning, everybody. Judea Hartley here. Welcome back into the one and the only AM show. Happy Monday. I hope you guys are feeling good, looking good, and all of the things. Now, you guys, I'm super excited because at the top of today's Power Pack show, Nadine and I tease that we have a flat out fantastic guest. And you guys, I am super stoked because I am such a fan. I am such a fan of Miss Jeanette Brand. She is a faith-based writer, a YouTuber. She is also coming out with a podcast with her husband. We're going to get into all of the details. But y'all, she does therapy, right? Because that's essentially what she provides for people like me on YouTube. Motivational speaker, author, writer, all content creator, all of the things. So without further ado, would you welcome my new friend in real life, Miss Janelle? <laughs> Thank you for having me. It's a blessing to be here. Yes. Oh my goodness. Thank you so much for coming on to the AM show. I am so excited to be speaking with you today, Jeanette, because girl, I have been a fan. I've been a supporter for years now. And I remember... We're going to get right into the meat of this sandwich. I remember finding you on a YouTube and falling yes. in love with like the title. Yeah, the title of your brand, your YouTube channel, which is entitled Beam Your Light. And I would always watch you like if I was getting depressed or if I was low, if I was down. Girl, I'd watch you on a good day. You just always had such inspiring things to say. You were so motivational. You always gave like practical life lessons and you were authentic. So even if you were having a bad day, you would be honest with that, which also makes you more relatable. So I want you to take us back to the foundation, right? Like the pillar of your brand. When did you realize you wanted to become a YouTuber? So um, really, like going back to it, this was really around the time of the pandemic. Um, like many of us, we were pretty much home and right when the pandemic happened, I was burnt out from my job. Like I quit my job, I was unfulfilled. And I just remember back then just thinking like, God, what am I supposed to be doing? Like I am burnt out from this job. I'm, I'm tired of the nine to five. And I remember, um, around that time, just feeling like there was more in me. And um, it took a single prayer. I just remember it like yesterday. It was a prayer for me. And as I was praying, I just asked God, like, I know there's more in me. I know I want to share my story. I don't know how, but I know you know the way. And that's also the time that I deepened my relationship with God. So going back to that, um, I had a vision of YouTube. And it reminds you, like, years prior to this prayer, I started a YouTube channel for makeup and lifestyle, and that was a total flop. Didn't go anywhere. <laughs> so I kind of gave a pope on YouTube and just directed myself to do other things. And so around the time of me praying this prayer, I just felt this deep compassion and this, this purpose to speak out. And I, I was having visions of YouTube. And I remember, um, as I was having these visions of YouTube and I felt like that was the outlet I needed to get myself out there, but most importantly, to get what God placed inside of me out there. And so I really started from a prayer. Um, and when I tell you, I had no idea what I was doing. I just turned my camera on and I'm like, I'm just going to share. And I'm also going to share the word of God. And from that very moment, I felt this fulfillment, this passion, this desire to keep going. And um, Beam Real Light, also the name, the title, the channel title, it came from uh, a prayer from God. I just remember thinking, what am I gonna name this channel? Beam Real Light just str like struck a bell, it hit a chord with me and I'm like, it's stick, we're gonna go with it. And yeah, so it really started from there. 
I love that. Wow. Such an empowering story. And one of the words that you kept saying, it really resonated me, resonated with me. You were talking about purpose, purpose, purpose. And what I find is that, Jeanette, so many people are living and going through this life and they don't know their purpose. They don't know what they were supposed to be, what they're supposed to be doing, what they were created to do. So you are a motivational speaker. I want to tap into that motivation just a little bit here. How do you help people step into their purpose? Wow, that's a great question. Um, you know, it's really what you can pull out of somebody. Mm. So for instance, like I've had, you know, when I was coaching, I had so many people come to me, even friends. Um, and to this day, like I have people that confide in me. And what I notice is that it's pulling out their strength is pulling out the very things that I know they're capable of doing. And it's in those little capabilities that they don't even know, maybe they're blindsided by it, that that's where their purpose lies in because it's coming from personal experience. It's mm. like, you know, I felt inadequate when I started YouTube. I felt as though I wasn't like good enough. Like mm. who am I to share things and in, in my story? But really what the purpose is and how I help people with that and what I, I tell people is, um, you know, what you're good at, what you're called to do. It's really in the calling. And mm. so our purpose is to serve God and is to love God and love others. That's the purpose, number one. And the second purpose is what we're gifted and what we're called to do, it's pulling that out of people. And I notice that as a pattern when I talk to people, it's like, what are you good at? And I can actually see it when I talk to a person, like it, it illuminates and it's just pulling it out of them. Mm, mm, I love that. Yeah. And I think that I love what you said, because when you were speaking, I was thinking about the importance of community and how yeah. and healthy, healthy community and how important it is to have people around you that can see gifts inside of yeah. you that maybe you can't see. Right. That the Absolutely. people around you, you know, this Jeanette, they have that power. They have that tenacity to really pull it out of you and to cultivate yeah. that thing and and sculpt it and mold it, right? So you can steward over that thing and take ownership and take ownership of your talents and of your gifts and of your ability. And I think it does take, you're right, it does take community in order to do that. So speaking of community, you have most certainly built a <laughs> large community through Beam Your Light on yeah. Instagram, even on your Instagram, YouTube and Instagram. Jeanette, what was the turning point for you when you realize oh, people are following me. Okay, wait a minute, y'all. <laughs> wait a minute, y'all. This is getting serious. Okay, wait. I can't just say anything on my platform because folks really take what I say literally. Yeah. So how do I steward this in the best way? What was that crazy turning point when you know you were reaching greater visibility? Wow. Um, to be honest, like if, if I go back to the very beginning, like... When I tell you I had no idea what I was doing, um, the responsibility like, like came in through the amount of people that were coming in. And so just like a quick story, um, Beamer Light grew within a month on YouTube. Like when I tell you it was God breathed, like his wow. hand was on it. Um, I remember going from like, I don't even know, a hundred subscribers within a month. But I remember this was December. And by the time it was January, I had over, I would say 10,000 followers wow. and it just kept growing and growing. Wow. That's when I realized, oh my gosh, like I, like there's something real here, you know, and, and I had to keep going. Mm. But um, the moment that it hit me was when I, people started reaching out to me, like people sharing their stories with me, mm. people um, opening their hearts to me. And I'm like, this is real. Like I am accountable for not only you know, how I steward this channel, how I steward these people and this community, but also what I say and it matters. And so that's when it really hit me. That was a turning point for me was when um, people were coming to me and they were sharing their life with me. And I, that's when I took it very seriously. And, I, and not to say it wasn't before, but I was just like, wow, like these people trust me with what God placed inside of me. And so I realized it's, it's not only accountability, but it's responsibility for their hearts. 
Oh, it's so true. And that's what, that's, you know, the energy that we feel from your channel, faith and love and acceptance and positivity. You guys, we're going to go to a quick video of Jeanette's channel, Beam Your Light, because if you are not a subscriber, girl, <laughs> my brother, what are you doing? You guys need, to, like the title, Jeanette, really just co coincides with the content that you put out. It really is. Is about shining your light no matter what season you're in. So you guys, let's take a look at our first video from Beam Your Light. I just wanna encourage you guys today that when we submit our lives to Christ and we're walking with God, we go from glory to glory to glory with Jesus. And we're not called to stay the same. See, with God, what he does on the inside of us is that he transforms us so that we are a new creation, so that we are rooted deeply in the Lord. And let me tell you guys something as well, that when God's getting ready to promote you, there's no one, no demon in hell, no devil. Oh, preach girl. I love it. <laughs> now, one of the other things that attracted me to your channel, of course, was your faith, but you were very, very intentional about meeting your husband. Tell me how you <laughs> and your husband met, because I know that when I was following you on YouTube, I still am, but a few years ago, you were talking about how you wanted to be a wife and you were preparing for that and you were praying for that. And now, girl, you you are completely booed up, right? For a, yeah, <laughs> for a life. So I want to hear the sweet story. How'd you meet your man? Yeah, I mean, I tell this story. My husband and I tell this story, and it's funny because it's like he remembers details, and I'm like, I don't remember that, but we're gonna go with it. <laughs> so, um, yeah. So my husband Andrew, he was a subscriber. Um, we wow. actually met. Uh, a couple years ago. This was around the time where I was going through like a struggle in my life, um, which I'm, I was very transparent about it on YouTube um, when I was going, when I was semi-homeless and I was in California at the time and I just was like, God, what's going on? And so we met around that time and we became friends through online, through social media. But again, he was a subscriber. He said he was watching my videos and this is you know, quote by Andrew, he said, wow, like that woman could be my wife. Wow. <laughs> he told me this later on. And so um, when we met, we met through online, through Instagram. Um, I slid into, well, he followed me, but I slid into his DMs. And so from that moment on, we became friends. Um, he was such a pinnacle, like a, a person in my life mm. that was there for me when I was going through what I was mm. going through at the time. And I just remember him being so, um, so encouraging in my life, but also somebody who was, uh, he, he was just there to listen and, and share so much love towards me. So we met through Instagram um, and we were actually talking, then we were long distance dating for a while before I decided to move to Washington and we got married. <laughs> wow, and you guys have been married for how many years now? We are married now for a year and a half oh. or some change in there. <laughs> oh my goodness. First of all, congratulations. Congratulations. Thank you. Absolutely. You deserve that. You know, I really, Jeanette, I really like when I see people win, especially when I've like witnessed like their agony or their trauma or their downfalls. Like I love when I see, it's almost like that friend that you're rooting and praying for, right? And you're like sitting on the side and and you watch them come from nothing. And then through their faith in God and the work that they put in, of course, you, you see them, you witness them catapult and elevate and elevate and elevate. And then they reach the top and you just want to cheers because you were there. You were there in some kind of way from the beginning. And that's how I sort of feel just as a YouTube subscriber. I remember when you were very transparent about everything that you were going through and how hard and how hard that was. And we're going to get into everything else that you are working on. 
I heard from you, girl, that you <laughs> and your husband are coming out with a podcast, Coffee with the Brams. Like, oh, yes, I love that title, first of all. And I know that you are writing a 30-day devotional. I mean, how many? We, we need that. You can't never have too many devotionals because it's important that we affirm ourselves every day, that we get up and that we try and we strive every single day. So I cannot get, I cannot wait to get into what you have coming up next. There goes that sweet little video of the two of you. You guys, we're going to take a quick, quick commercial break, but don't you go anywhere because we're going to really, really dive into some details with my girl, Jeanette, when we return. Keep it locked, everybody, because you're watching the one and only AM show. There she is, our special guest for this morning, Miss Jeanette Graham, YouTube creator, content creator, author, faith-based personality, etc. and my friend in my head anyway. Welcome back to the show, everybody. Okay, so before the commercial break, Jeanette, we were dishing all things YouTube and how'd you meet your husband now and what you want people to take away from being your light, the genesis of it, etc. Now, I want to just dig right into this podcast podcast that you are currently curating with your husband. The title is Coffee with the Brams. Am I correct? Tell me about that. Yes. So we're so excited about this. This is definitely something that it's led by God himself. Um, and it's something that we are going to be doing and tapping in and discussing everything from life, like relationships, marriage, family, community, um, even maybe politics as the Lord leads us in that. But um, we are so excited about it. We just really believe that the word of God needs to get out so much more. And podcast is something that is just so universal. Everybody's like listening to some kind of podcast these days. And so we're really excited about it. Mm, I love that. Okay, girl. So when can we expect, right, a, a first episode tentatively? Because I'm excited. Um, yeah. Yeah. So um, we are in the in the works of it. So I would say we're going to start launching episodes um, sometime this year. We're believing sometime from the fall to winter. So it's definitely something that's in in the roles of things. Mm, okay. Very, very nice. I'm excited. I can't wait. Now, Jeanette, you are a motivational speaker. You're a therapist. You're a counselor because, girl, you help all of us just really get through some hard times, especially through your YouTube channel and your Instagram. So with that being said, I definitely want to ask you some rapid fire questions because I feel like people can really benefit from the wisdom that you embrace. Body. So my first question, how do we overcome heartbreak? Um, overcoming heartbreak, get close to God, um, get to know what he says and who he is and build your identity in him and know how much he loves you. Like God is love. And I, I really believe that to be able to love is to know God's love. And so just really sit with him and understand that no one else is going to love you you any deeper than Christ and the person that does love you I see with Christ is somebody that's not by God so. right yeah no I, I I absolutely agree but I think so many people so many women so many men are going through like a breakup or going through heartbreak with their family right like yes that is <laughs> practical but like what can we do in the moment right do we cut them off do we go to therapy do we work out do we try to have hard conversations how can we rebuild our self-esteem yeah. after that breaking? I definitely encourage, I'm all for self-care. Like yeah. when I say like to feel better about yourself is truly to put yourself in uncomfortable situations, like get out of your comfort zone. So for personal experience, like whenever I've dealt with heartbreak, um, I was like, you know, I'm going to work on me. I'm going to not only eat better, but I'm going to work out. Uh, 
go for a stroll, hang out with friends, like good friends that really will cheer you up, spend time around family. Self-care is not just in those tangible things where it's like, um, buy yourself something. It's mainly be around good people, um, put yourself out there, join a club, join a, mm. join a run club, join something that you can get your mind off of the heartbreak, but at the same time, you're building yourself up. I love that. I love tapping into that community. Really, really good. How do we deal with ghosting? How should we deal Ooh, with yes, <laughs> with ghosting? Girl, that's a good question. <laughs> I know from personal experience, um, ghosting is not fun. Right. It's actually, yeah, that can really take a toll on someone's mental health. Um, I know it did for me when it happened to me. Um, and I talk a lot about that on the channel. Um, but yeah, I mean, getting through something like that is talk to a friend. Mm. Um, first of all, pray about it, but talk to a friend. And, you know, the way I look at it, if someone is going to ghost you, then don't, don't even worry about it. It's something that it's like you got to drift your mind away from that because somebody can put you in a predicament of like rejection. It's mm. not worth the tears, in my opinion. Even though we go through it, it hurts and it kind of sucks, but um, really just get back up. Pick yourself back up and know that there's better things coming. There's something better in store for you. Yeah, I agree. I feel like people who ghost you have no moral integrity. Yeah. That, that's how I feel. I feel like you have, because you can absolutely leave. Nobody's holding you hostage. You can leave, but it's how you do it. It's how you do it. And I just, yeah, people, I just, I feel like, you know, after a certain amount of time, and if you've reached a certain age, huh, then you should be able to have an adult conversation. Even if you want to leave, fine. Like nobody's holding you down, but if they've been good to you, definitely respect what you build in that time by having a conversation, even if it's an exit conversation. Yeah, so I love that. All right, Jeanette, what is the biggest lesson you've learned as a content creator, as a YouTuber, as a woman? Um, The biggest thing I've ever learned, well, again, I always talk about my experiences and just my life's journey, but one thing I've learned is to just really be patient in life. Like nothing, nothing good comes from happening. Like if something happens over day, like I believe in things taking time, good things taking time. Um, whenever I'm feeling impatient for something, it's like I need to learn the lesson in between. So I've learned patience and it's something that's hard for, for all of us to really do when we want something or we we're looking to the future. And so for me, I've learned through the ministry through community, through my marriage, patience, mm. patience, patience, and growing as a woman, as a woman of God, as a sister, as a friend, I've learned to give people grace. Um, mm. Even when I'm the, when somebody does something wrong to me, um, forgive, forgive, mm. forget. And, and I know in times it's hard to forget, but forgive, have patience and give grace. I mean, I would say those are really the things I've learned strongly. Oh, I love that. Those are three things that I'm working on. <laughs> I love that. <laughs> I'm trying to work on it, girl, because I'm like, oh, like Judea, I, I struggle with holding grudges. I could hold a grudge to 2034. I really can't. And it's not good. It's not good. So I'm working on that. And I think, you know, I'm getting, I'm getting better at it. You work on it by thinking to yourself, okay, would I want somebody to hold a grudge um, to me, right? A grudge against me that long? Like, no, no, right? I wouldn't want that. So that's true. That forgiveness, that definitely is a process. So, I mean, it's true. You're absolutely right. Who inspires you the most? Ooh, these are good questions. <laughs> um, I would say in this season of my life, I would say my husband. Yeah. He inspires me. He's an incredible man of God. Um, he's filled with so much wisdom. Um, and for me, I would say like there's been moments in my life, you know, and, and 
just past seasons and even just recently uh, with health and everything, he truly inspired me to get back into the gym and mm. to eat right. Right now we're both doing a carnivore diet and mm. let me tell you, by, the, by God's grace, we're doing it. <laughs> yeah. Um, but he inspires me so much. Um, yeah, I mean, it's been incredible in our marriage so far. It's been so incredible. I love that. I love that they can inspire you, that you feel yeah. admiration for your spouse and love and that you can learn from them while growing together. I love that. That's when you know you're, you're paired up with the right person. All right, <laughs> my girl, define healing. Healing, um, I would definitely say healing is a heart posture. Okay. Um, it starts within the heart, right? Like any any issues we're dealing with, anything we're going through, whether it's mental, emotional, spiritual, it's a heart issue before, I believe it's heart and mind. Um, the healing takes place when, again, when we learn to forgive and uh, we extend our hand out to be able to help others, impact the lives of others. I, I truly believe healing can be supernatural, but it's also in a process. And I know that from firsthand experience, like I'm, I've gone through healing where I've seen, you know, God heal things like supernaturally. And then there's healing that is in a process mm. and that's so that we can learn along the way of that process. And so I'd say it's definitely healing starts with the heart. We got to heal the heart. Um, and I love that scripture where it says hope deferred makes the heart sick. And so when the heart is healthy, our lives are healthy. Mm, I love that. I asked you that because I, I, I mean, I knew you just had a great answer for us. You're a motivational speaker, but I love that you mentioned that healing is a heart posture. Oh my God, I never thought about it like this. And I always tell people, <laughs> you can come to me healing, right? I don't think that we will ever be completely healed, if I'm honest with you. I think that from certain things, yes. From certain things, yes. But from everything completely healed? I don't know about that. I don't know, but I definitely will receive you if you come to me healing. Love that. Okay, yeah. how do people, Jeanette, get unstuck? Um, I would definitely say to get yourself from being in a place, a season, a time, a moment of feeling stuck is to try something new. Huh. Do something you haven't done before. I think oftentimes we get stuck when we're doing the same thing over and over again. Yeah. Um, I call it repetition. I mean, again, I've been there where I'm like, I feel stuck in this season or I feel like nothing's going, you know, like I'm not moving forward here. But really, there's always a lesson to be learned with everything. But mm. I would say do something new, something you haven't tried before. I love that. Why won't people take accountability for their actions? You're our therapist, so you're healing us right now. <laughs> you're helping us right now, girl. I know I gotta let you go shortly, but I wanna, I wanna get your take on that. What, a family member, a mom, a dad, a brother, a cousin, why won't folks, when something bad happens, why don't they, they don't take accountability for their actions? Why is that? I would definitely say it's it's because there's pain behind what yeah. what they're dealing with, what they're going through. <clears throat> yeah. And you know, accountability is huge. And I, I truly believe that everyone needs accountability. We all need mentorship. We all need discipleship. And if a person can't take hold of accountability, I think a lot of pride is there, mm. um, a lot of ego, and they could just be blinded from pride. Mm. And pride has a way of, of having you to push people away that truly care about you. Um, and I would definitely say anyone that can't see the love through others or the help through others, somebody lending a hand or somebody's even allowing bridges to be burned, it's the pain that's within them. Mm. It's the trauma they're dealing with. And that's where I say give grace because uh, we've all been there, you know. And so for me in my personal life, um, accountability is so needed. Even in marriage, accountability is so needed. We have to be quick to correct and love and share and love and share the truth and uh, be able to tell somebody what's up. You know what I'm saying? Like it, when you tell someone the truth, you're sharing in love and it should be done in love. But um, I, I would say yeah, somebody that 
it, it's hard for them to take hold of accountability. They're just dealing with their own things. And mm. it's hard for them to even take grasp of anything that is being offered to them in a good way. Um, so yeah, give grace and and tread lightly. <laughs> yeah, I love that. So true with that pride and ego. I know I have to let you go in about a minute or so, but I absolutely want you to tell us briefly about your 30 day devotional. Yeah, absolutely. So it's a 30 day devotional. It's to get you closer to the God. It is it's actually a prophetic journal as well. So um, part of the devotional, you can write notes in it. Um, and there, there'll be prayers within it. There'll be prophetic love letters from God, things he put in my heart to, to write specifically. Um, and it's really to get closer, deepen your relationship with God so that your relationship, your other relationships are very impactful and, and we can change the world. If our relationships are healed, um, it's because our relationship with God is right. I love that. I love that. Let us put our hands together and show our love for my girl, <laughs> Jeanette. Woo! Jeanette, before we go, please, and you are fantastic, please tell our brothers and our sisters here where they can find you on a social media. Yeah, so on Instagram, we are under Beamer Light, and then YouTube, same thing, Beamer Light. Beam your light. Y'all heard it here on the AM show on YouTube and on Instagram. Jeanette, I just want to thank you. I thank you. I thank you. I thank you so much. Definitely was a dream come true for me, deeming that I've been following you for so many years. So you guys, if y'all want some light, if y'all want some love, if y'all want some positivity, if you want some counseling, be sure to subscribe to Jeanette's YouTube channel, Beam Your Light. And y'all can also, again, follow her on Instagram at Beam Your Light as well. Keep out, keep on the lookout, you guys. Stay on the lookout, rather, for that podcast, Coffee with the Brams, with her and her husband, you guys. And of course, if you follow her on social media, you can get access to any passion project she has coming up and her 30 day devotional. Thank you so much, Jeanette, for being here. Thank you. It was a blessing, a pleasure. Oh, absolutely, my girl. And you know, we will definitely talk after camera. Thank you so much. Take care. Thank you. Incredible. Oh, all right, y'all. We're going to head on over to a quick commercial break. Don't you go anywhere because the AM show has more exciting segments when we return. <laughs> 